Hey man, it's time for you to get up. You know we had that plan. Let's get up and go to the gym. Yo, yo, time to get up. Let's get it ready to go to the gym. Let's get it, let's get it. Ah, uh, you don't hear me, huh? Alright, well, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know now. Hey, you need to wake up, cause man, the long you sleep. And when you be waking up, your breath be smelling like booty gas, bro. I, I, ain't, even, I ain't even gonna sugarcoat it for you, big fella. You, you, you need to fix that. I don't know if you're not brushing your teeth or what. But God dang. Hey, God, somebody say something. What you need to do, you, you need to get up for that rash come back. Cause you, you know your mama don't pay all that money for your prescriptions. And then your prescription running out, you gonna sit up here and use Vaseline and put it all in your hair. And you, you don't, you messing up your pillowcase. Yeah, that's your third one. I ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. But that, I'm gonna let you know, that's your third one. And you over here messing up pillowcases. Cause, cause, you, cause your skin bad. Oh, oh look, 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 he wanna get up now. Look at him. You ever had those days when you're like just not motivated? You just don't feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like, right now, I don't feel like going to the gym and sweating and breathing hard, picking up a lot of weight. How do people do it? How do fitness people, like, how do fitness people do this all day, every single day? And it just seems like they just, they just love it. Like they just love to have their heart about to collapse every day. Like, they just love to be sitting on the ground like this and just like struggling. Look at this guy. This guy is dying right now. Look at this dude. He's struggling, bro. Look. Where can I find motivation like that? The difference between the two are self-discipline and comfortable, com being comfortable. Because if it was really up to me, what would make me feel good for the moment would have been to get back in bed and go to sleep. What would have felt good was instead of when I grabbed that phone, and turn my alarm off to get ready to go to the gym. Instead, I would have grabbed that controller that was right next to it and head straight to Warzone and hop in the gulag. Then, there's the center of bringing any dream or goal into fruition, AKA self-discipline. Now, discipline has a bad rep, and that's just not the case. Discipline is foregoing and sacrificing immediate pleasure for long-term self-respect. I would think the question is, where exactly do people find motivation? I would um. Is this seat taken? Not today's sake. So I guess the question would be, where exactly does motivation come from? I don't know what that was about. I forgot to mention this around October, so I don't know what that whole thing, what that whole deal was about, but that, that was wild. The most important part of motivation is to find your why. Why do I want to be motivated to do this? Uh, what am I doing it for? If it's just for, I just want to look good for the beach, that's good and all, but not everybody has that strong willpower to just go out there and do it. What would be more ideal is if you found a goal, like uh, I'm trying to lose weight for this competition. I'm trying to lose weight so I can fit into this dress. I can fit into these leggings, something along those lines. That makes more sense. You can write that out. Once you write that kind of stuff out, put it on paper. It just freaked me out. I don't know what that was. It was very <laughs> And once you actually put it on paper, it makes more sense. Like for example, my why is ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to have a career in fitness. Because fitness was just something that, I don't know, it just in my head it clicked. And so I wanted to show people how to do that. That's why I'm making this video. My dad uh, has always been my motivation. Love my mom, I love both the same way. Both love both my parents. But my dad was always like my hero. So as long as I could make him excited and like make him proud to hear him say, I'm proud of you for this, or like to shock him at something that I did, that's just like the best feeling in the world for me. Like just my motivation is my family and because it's my passion. I love to do this and it's, I mean, that's just what it is. And second from that, if I wasn't fit anymore, it would look super weird. I don't even know, like nobody wants to see that dude that was big and then he got small and everybody's like, dang bro, what happened? 
Yeah, I heard, you know, Rona came around that time and now, you know, yo man, everything going all right in the family? You been eating? I wanna make sure I keep that, keep that up. Another big aspect of motivation would be the people that you keep around you. Better yet, your influences. Let's say, for example, you wanna get fit and you wanna lose some weight for your wife so, you know, she can come back and look at you when you come in the room like, you sexy Mac daddy, like you just that dude. And while you're trying to get fit, you come home and at the same time she's eating ice cream, watching TV, she's making dinner, no vegetables. The kids are eating McDonald's, chicken nuggets. You know you're gonna want the fries at the bottom of the bag. Because your goals are one thing, but your environment is another, it's not gonna happen. You need to surround yourself in an environment where everybody wants to be fit. Everybody wants to be more healthy. If you're around people who don't go to the gym or people who aren't like-minded, they wanna party all the time, they wanna, they wanna play video games all the time or go out to the club, that's what your reality is. That's, that's what you're motivating yourself to do because this is who you're around. This is who you're having a good, a good time with. So what you want to do is surround yourself and put yourself in an environment with people who are like-minded and trying to have the same goal as you. So me personally, that's why it's like, I don't really go out that often. When I, when I eat, I hang around either myself or I'm watching motivational videos trying to find out what to do next. I'm not saying you got to be like me, but you have to put yourself in an environment that you know is positive for what you're trying to do. One key thing in motivation that nobody told me was that motivation is temporary. Excuse me? It, no, man, I don't have any protein. Uh, motivation is temporary. It doesn't last long. If you don't find a means to pursue whatever your goal is, whatever you're trying to achieve, and you don't practice it consistently, you're gonna lose that motivation for it. A perfect example is, let's say you went to like this webinar where you're gonna sign up in this business and you guys are motivated, the speaker's real good, he's hyped up, the crowd's hyped up, everybody's ready to go and do this business. Well, let's say two days later, you still haven't brought anybody in. Like you, you've been trying and you're, you're going hard, but you haven't brought anybody in the business. You're not making money. All of a sudden you lose that motivation. Then the next day, okay, I can skip the day because you know, I, I see what kind of work I got to put in. Then you skip another day. Okay, I can get to it later. I'm not really too worried about it. It happens a lot in the gym. It goes back to what I was saying about self-discipline. You have to be able to sacrifice immediate pleasure for long-term self-respect. It's easy to lose motivation when you know that whatever you're doing isn't gonna hurt you right now. Like, if I eat this donut, I know it's not gonna hurt me right now. I can have four hot dogs. It's not gonna hurt me right now. I have broccoli in the freezer. I'm not worried about it. And you know darn well you're not gonna eat that broccoli. <laughs> that broccoli's been sitting in there for two months. You know you're not gonna touch it. You know, this could honestly help me dig into something else. Probably my biggest peeve about motivation in the gym. Kind of like this. One thing that used to just crush my motivation in the gym was intimidation. I used to be nervous and scared of the guys who were bigger, more lean, just like you can tell they do this for a lifestyle. Like that dude has no neck, cannot turn around. How am I ever gonna get to that point? I, I wanna be able to turn my head. I don't wanna be like 1960s Batman. But just seeing these people who were just like so far ahead in the game, fitness wise, I was like, how am I ever going to get to that point? It used to literally crush my motivation and I would do the opposite thinking, there's no way I'm ever gonna get to that point. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Kind of like this. Sometimes years, sometimes their whole life. They had the self-discipline to do what they needed to do, and they did it. Just like everybody else out here, they don't wanna do this two, three times a day. They don't wanna to come to the gym at six in the morning, but they know what it takes to do it, and they have the self-discipline to stay consistent. That's the only reason why you'll ever see somebody with bigger arms, more lean, better abs, bigger butt, bigger legs. That's the only reason you'll ever see that. It's because they stay consistent, and they have the self-discipline to do it. It's not easy but that's what it takes. Remember, if this kind of stuff was easy, everybody would be doing it. I know you hear that a lot and it sounds really cliche, but if everybody worked out, 
like Psycho Dude over there, everybody would be on a Vogue magazine. Everybody would be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Everybody would have been in Rick Ross's music video shaking that thing. The only difference between those people and the people who sit on the couch is those people had the self-discipline to keep going and they stayed motivated. Me personally, I would say self-discipline to stay consistent is probably the key to fitness. And that's the hardest part. But you have to understand, nobody wants to do this every day, except Psycho. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really like my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. It's only right there. Like, literally, right at the bottom of this video. You're already there. Just hit subscribe. If you have any more questions, make sure you follow and comment on any of my Instagram pictures. And I'll make sure I put out some more content and try to answer as many questions as possible. Till next time, guys. Peace.